Daito how everybody welcome back tonight's video we're going to be walking the downtown Gainesville area this is the region just east of the University itself off of Main Street and University uh, Road I believe uh, it features uh, shops businesses some uh, government uh, entities as well uh, it's well known for its park named after Bo Diddley a famous uh, guitarist and songwriter who's from the area. So without further ado, let's go walking. We are actually starting off at Bo Diddley Plaza. It's got a little taco bar right here in the corner. And then behind you in the Bo Diddley Plaza Square area is a small enclosed uh, or covered amphitheater with a little lawn seating and it's nestled in within all the businesses here and uh you don't want to miss a lot of friday nights throughout the year they hold a community uh, concert free for whoever like to come out so i think they have just uh, finished their flight I'll leave a link online to this webpage. It'll give you the nights of the event. So if you're ever here, you can always check it out. I heard it's a big tradition here. As I mentioned earlier, we're off of Main and University. That runs uh, east and west, and Main Street runs north and south. Sure, it has some significance. I just don't know what it is. Let's see what the plaque says. And it's construction of the Clark Clock Tower. Ah, courthouse is behind here, and you can see there's a tower. It was originally on the courthouse, so I guess they built a tribute to it here, down here on the corner. That was cool. We got the bell, the ring. Apparently it's still functional. This used to be, I believe, the top part there that you see was on the top of the original courthouse. There's a new replacement right behind here. So that's pretty cool. All right, we'll continue to walk along. Over here to my right is the courthouse. And that bell you just heard, as I mentioned, is from the original courthouse. Oh, it's a tribute tower now. There's the courthouse. Got ourselves a big church over here. We'll continue across the street. So it is a mixture of governmental business, uh, 
other commerce along with the entertainment value and the shopping and the restaurants. another county building to the right A downtown hotel here, a Hampton Inn. Lively out tonight. So now we're down more on the hipper end, this is where all the restaurants are. That's called, I believe, the Union. It's like an apartment building and multi mix. Pretty happy. We're going to continue working our way over to Main Street itself. This is a barbecue rib place, smoked meats, whiskey bar. Sounds like a good combination. Gainesville is a small town. I may have mentioned earlier, there's, there is over 300,000 people in the area, but I think it makes up a pretty large geographical area. I don't know for sure, but I have a feeling that's the case and it probably ebbs and flows with the uh, university population as well which can be quite large good. my understanding so you got the county courthouse so more governmental business these are the original main streets the uh, city is over 150 years old so these were built probably way back at that time uh, and these are all little individual storefronts uh, generally there's going to be different owners and these are actually different deeded buildings uh, some do have second floors, some are malt mixed as well. The area got hit pretty hard with COVID, so not as active as it had been in years past, but still a lively little area. Got a nice bar up here, the Fox.
first like four blocks just south of uh, University and just east of Main Street is where a bulk of the residential entertainment lies. Work our way back around the music. I promise you, stick to the end, we will get to the music. We're gonna work our way back up the side street, back to Main Street and continue heading north. This is the central part of the district and probably the longest and it tapers down uh, going out streets in the east and west direction just north and south of University. I hope you guys like my babbling. I can't just shut up, so come along for the ride. I talk what I see. I hope you enjoy. If so, knock that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Share it with your friends, leave comments, YouTube loves that crap, makes the channel grow, and I'd really appreciate it. Now, all this grounds is historic as well for the city, and uh, some, uh, I believe, state or even maybe federal historic as well. We got a couple signs up here. So, this was the grounds of the original county courthouse that was in 1886 the current building was completed in 58 and it was expanded in 1962 let's see what else we got oh uh, this is in rem remembrance this is some equal justice items apparently there was a reconstruction era or lynchings in the area this was racially motivated at one time Sorry to hear that, but we at least have a memorial in this area of the project. Sorry I can't get a good shot with the reflection, but let's move on. There are also some nightclub style lounges here. I think they got hit hardest with the COVID, so you have to You'll have to check on your own. We're back here at University. We're going to work our way down and over and come back right over here. It's these streets that are more interesting. Some of the, These are the streets that are more interesting. These are the ones that were first built. They're probably the oldest uh, in the area. That's where the cool architecture is. Definitely got some, like I would call 20s, kind of an Art Deco style to these buildings, pretty cool. Gainesville's full of trees. You have good signage. See the signs up there, those are uh, tourist signs that you see right back there. And you can see the clock tower back in the background over there. We're probably over halfway done. I promise you I'll get to you that music. Hang on guys, keep watching to the end.
Looks like a second floor club. Hair salon, barber shop. Come get your tattoo or body piercing. This one, you're not getting anything. Another tattoo shop. Oh, this place is supposed to be a happening bar in the evenings. Pleasant tonight in the shade, got a little breeze. There's an arcade bar. It's famous for having an arcade and being a bar, and I believe it was an old movie theater. Definitely a must see, especially if you're on the younger side. It's only about four, six blocks long, maybe about six blocks long in the longest section and goes down to maybe like two blocks on the farther end. There's the church back there, a little side street. We're gonna cross over and head back. We're gonna stay in the core section. Ourselves that little bar and restaurant. This is an event hall, a little larger venue. We were supposed to walk down this side and come back. A couple more lounges. This is more on the outskirts. There's a bar in the corner called the Lab. We've got a few places here. We'll feature them when we get turned back around. early for them but this is the 80s themed nightclub all right we're going to double back real quick and it'll pick up the main street this is the that 80s bar so this is university here to my left main street's right ahead so the core like i said about six blocks down the middle and then three to four blocks going out from there. I got excited that I could cross the street. Went the wrong way.
continue down Main Street. Got a little cafe here. This is a Cambodian restaurant. <laughs> Even though it's a small city here in Northern Florida, through the university, it is pretty uh, race and culturally diverse, which is pretty cool. Again, still tough for these towns to keep these spaces all full. This one going under renovation. Now this section of the road on First Street, just west of Main Street, they blocked this off, I guess, to allow more of a street hangout atmosphere. And I don't know how successful it is, but I believe that's the premise. It is still pretty early. It's only 7.30 p.m. on a Friday night. If it's going to fill up, it'll be in the next couple hours. Couple nice little restaurants. Yeah, I think it's normal. Well, since we're here, we might as well cross over. So this block down street goes quite a ways back. Looks like it dead ends into a parking garage and backs up to one other little section of Old Town here. Pretty rad mural here on this restaurant. It's called The Street. It does not appear to be with us anymore. Maybe in his day. I heard this is a mainstay. Looks like we got another city parking lot here as well. My mother lives in the area. She mentioned there were several in the neighborhood. On the secondary street off of Main, you have a couple little venues. They look more like bar venues. You got these nice murals here. There's actually a really significant mural collection uh, throughout the city of uh, street art. There'd be even a tour available, or at least directions to do it yourself. If we get lucky, I'll try to get that done before I head out of here. back into the activity now guys it's a hopping and a popping not for Gainesville all right guys we're nearly to the end we're gonna go hit the historic state theater and walk the 
urban area and uh, we'll wrap it back up with uh, music back at Bo Diddley's Plaza. Pool hall, pretty cool. All right, Rob, I'm good, thank you. Maybe we're in Hollywood. This over here is a new downtown Hyatt Hotel. And this is kind of their trendy line there, a boutique line as well. Don't know the name, but I'm sure it's easy to look up. Get in trouble, got your local law office here. Just finishing up on this hotel, as I mentioned. How do we get out of here? All right, I had to take a slight detour. Alright, this is known as the Commons. This is a new multi-mix, one of many that's been built in this college town and college towns around America. So this features entertainment, shops, and food downstairs and residential above here. This is the last extension of the downtown area. It's anchored by uh, the urban, and more importantly, back here through the trees, the Hippodome, a state theater, uh, local theater, and I was told it's pretty well, pretty famous. So if I can find more about it, I'll leave some description, uh, links in the description below, guys. All right. It kind of wraps up a little bit. There's some shops around here, comes around. And that's the beautiful state building. All right, guys, that wraps up the walking tour. We're gonna to be heading back to Bo Diddley Square, listen to that sweet live music, as I promised. Thanks again, guys, for watching. Let's go enjoy the music.
five o'clock, he looks up, another day is gone. The same desk as the first day, now some twenty years old. Reviews are real, and a quick, they all say. But he smiles and thanks the man as he finds it all away. So tell me, well, what are you doing now? Now that nothing's gone your way. Well, what are you doing now when there's no game left to play? Well, what are you doing now that you never quite make that way?